corner on the token apron. This month we are reviewing the book Bengali Five Spice Chronicles by Rinku Bhattacharya. This book is based on the cuisine of Eastern India, which is very solely based on a vegetarian diet, so it's very different from the meat-based curries that we're all familiar with. And I'm going to be making stir-fried mixed vegetables and another one with little baby shrimps in it. So. so the main spice in Bengali cooking is based on the Panch Poron five spice mix. Rinku suggests that, you know, you can actually um, vary, vary the vegetables in this dish. And she uses pumpkin. Today I'm gonna use um, butternut squash because I love the flavor of butternut squash and I'm just gonna peel it. So you need about a half a pound of pumpkin or butternut squash. Get the seeds out. Some zucchini. So this is a rich gourd and I'm just gonna peel it to get the rough ridges off of it. Slice it into circles. You're gonna need a green banana or a plantain. I have a plantain one or two potatoes. What I'm gonna do is put about two tablespoons of mustard oil. With spices, you really wanna start, um, before you start using them, you need to either toast them in a frying pan, or in this case, we're going to be cooking it in oil, and you want all the essential oils in the spice, the whole spices to come out and permeate the dish. We're gonna take a teaspoon of this spice mix, add it. And just let it swirl around and listen to that crackle. And we also have asafoetida, which is a tree resin. You want to use very little of this. And then I have two teaspoons of ginger paste. and cover it for about five minutes to steam. Take all those other vegetables, and we're gonna add that. Three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of sea salt, teaspoon of sugar. Take a half cup of water. I'm gonna put a lid on it, and let it cook for about 10 minutes. I love this book because she does talk about her, um, the food memories of Bengali cuisine and she dedicated this book to her dad. Um, it has a lot of information. It's like reading a novel, which I love, and the recipes are all very personal. And I couldn't believe how easy and quick a lot of the recipes are. Some of them, um, one of my favorites is the, um, it's the saffron rice with meatballs. Water has already evaporated. The vegetables are 30 seconds away from being cooked. We want to make sure that the water evaporates. The vegetables are all very tender. Potatoes are soft. Mmm, smells so good. This is a dish that has so many levels of textures and flavors. Mm. It's really good. You get the hint of the cumin, but it's not overly powering like in um, traditional Indian cooking. The very curry background notes of the cumin and it's very subtle, not an overpowering dish. This is lovely because you can still taste the zucchini and the banana and every single part of this dish can hold its own. It's, none of it is overpowering. I think it's beautiful. Mm, 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 mm. So this next dish that we're going to be preparing is quick spiced potatoes with cauliflower and baby shrimp. Heat up the mustard oil. While that's heating up, I'm gonna peel this potato, cut this guy into wedges. A teaspoon of the punch put on. Very carefully take the wet ginger paste and add it. Half 
three green chilies, and I'm keeping the seeds in. And then I'm gonna throw them in. Thanks. There's Laura that likes to talk. We're adding chopped cauliflower. I'm gonna take my potatoes. I'm gonna add them. Add a little bit of salt here. Take two red Roma tomatoes, chop them. I'm gonna add that there. Add half a teaspoon of turmeric. We're gonna cover it to steam all the vegetables for about 10 minutes. Add sour cream. And then we're gonna add drip. Some cilantro. And just roughly chop it. All the spices, they're all very subtle because it's not ground up. It's all very beautifully blended together. I like that you can see the spices that you're eating. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> Look how pretty. Potatoes, cauliflower, a shrimp. This is just a beautiful dish. If you've never tried Indian food, I think this is the perfect dish to kind of introduce you to the cuisine. Bengali cuisine is just so lovely. It's not as probably as strong. I don't want to say strong, but it won't come at you um, as strongly as um, the curry dishes that India, uh, Indian food is known for. The spices are very subtle, but they are there. You can taste it. I just love it. Mm. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you soon.